We have history on our side, and those of you that know me, I cannot give a talk without referring back to the Children's Bureau, which is really the origins of maternal and child health in this country, led by a group of women, very powerful leaders, who saw the need to take some responsibility for the nation's children. And the charge to the Children's Bureau in the legislation is as follows, to investigate and report upon all matters pertaining to the welfare of children and child life among all classes of our people. And I love those words because they were so innovative and forward thinking for their time, but they have also been uh, sustained throughout our history. It's the same mission that we have today. It has not changed. And what's interesting about that mission is, again, it was an, it was an innovative approach to being responsible for the nation's children. It's clear in that language that the entire population is of interest all classes of our people, all children, their well-being across all classes of our people. There was no focus on any particular population. The interest was in all. Prevention was the focus, the intended focus, and that has persisted. The idea that directing resources to children is in our national interest was a notion behind the creation of the Children's Bureau in 1912, and again, one that we sustain today. It is in our national interest to address the needs of children and prevent some of the um, the negative sequelae that, that emerge if we do not pay attention early on. The notion that we should base our policy decisions on the scientific knowledge base, on the data, investigate and report on, means just that, gathering data, continuing to monitor trends, to know what's going on out there so that we can make the best decisions to make a difference in the lives of those children. The idea that health, welfare, education, on and on and on, you can fill out the list, these are all linked that we cannot just focus on the health of children because there's more going on in their lives that affects their health. We have to focus on the communities in which they live, the interactions that they have, other supports to them and their families. And again, this innovative idea that the authority for this responsibility should rest at the level of the state. And I have a lot of fun um, teaching graduate students. And I'm always, I'm not amazed anymore. I stopped being amazed that they really don't understand uh, our Constitution, they don't understand how the government works, you really have to go over this back, you know, back to the beginning and say, why do you think we're called the United States of America? We're not just America, we're the United States, because we were states first, right? Remember the 13 original colonies? <laughs> why we have those stars on the flag? We are a united confederation of states. That's why states have the latitude and the authority to make decisions. The authority for maternal and child health rests at the level of the state for very good reasons. Partly historical, but partly because this is a huge country and the variations in the needs and the capacities are tremendous across these states. So again, this partnership idea becomes very, very important. And here's why. I thank Lorraine Clareman for bringing this quote to my attention. Justice Brandeis said this when he was on the Supreme Court in 1932. It is a happy accident of the federal system that a single courageous state may, if its citizens choose, serve as a laboratory and try novel social and economic experiments without risk to the rest of the country. <laughs> okay, so we depend on you, each of you, to try new things. It's easier for Rhode Island to try something and fail than it is for Dr. Van Dyke to get all of you to try something and fail, okay? And you can do it because the authority rests with you and you have the latitude to look out over the horizon and say, what's going on in my community and how can I try something different? And we then learn from those experiments. When they succeed, we want to adopt them. When they fail, we want to remember that so we don't try them again.